guys. How's it going? Um, it's Thursday afternoon. I spent pretty much most of the morning filling holes in the firewall. Um, <clears throat> 64 holes. There's obviously a few extra ones, <laughs> not from the factory. But uh, yeah, 64 holes to fill. That's, uh, that's a lot of welding and grinding. Anyhow, I'm taking a break from it. I still got about 10 holes to do. Uh, I'll get them done before the end of the video and show you what the firewall looks like. But uh, I want to tear into that uh, A-pillar uh, on the driver's side where I have some collision and rust damage. Uh, I'm going to kind of peel it away and see what we got underneath and what we have to rebuild. I know the structure that the hinges are bolted to inside that cowl are, uh, are rusty. So I'm probably going to have to make up some sort of a bracket. But until I open it up and see what's in there, uh, I don't really know for sure. So uh, I guess I'll start by cutting open that uh, that cowl side and, uh, you know, figure out what I'm doing and get those very, very, very expensive pieces of tin back in there and have that cowl rebuilt. Uh, at that time, the, uh, the metal work on the cab is pretty much done. Uh, other than clearancing the floor uh, for the automatic transmission. But I can't do that until I get the cab back on the frame. So that's the goal. Finish up the metal work, get the cab back on the frame, figure out what I've got to uh, open up, and, uh, you know, go from there. So uh, let's just get to it, man. Okay, so I'm going to start with this. Um, if you take a look here, you can see this double lip here. Well, this inside piece... And this outside piece are these two pieces here. So this lines up almost like right on the money. Okay. That's not going to happen here. I already checked the fitment. It won't go. You know. It won't get much better than that. So uh, obviously you're going to have to play around with it a little bit. It's fairly close. A little closer than what I just showed you. The problem is, is it's hitting underneath here. So this is the problem. Anyway, so I know I got to play with that now. Um, so what I'm going to do first, get that panel there comes up to here, this line here. I'm going to cut from here, leaving myself this extra meat here to play with later. So I'm going to cut it here, down, right down to the bottom, and open that up. Uh, the reason I went with here is there's a dent. The dent damage starts right here. So from this line up, it's uh, it's good. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hack that out, and uh, we'll see what we got. It's going to take a little while to cut that out, so uh, I'll be back in a bit. So I see why this thing rotted out so badly. Look at this. I mean, you know, that's a lot of freaking dirt, man. And it was just packed in there, uh, down in this area here, and in behind that hinge bracket. So here's what we got. Um, this piece here, as you can see, is rotted away. It's supposed to come up and then or across and then up, and there would be a couple of uh bosses in there that you can bolt your hinge to uh just like down here now this one here uh it wasn't rotted away but uh the bolt has been snapped off so i'm thinking it's probably easier for me to fabricate a whole new one of these 
just bend it out of some a uh, little bit heavier steel than this stuff and uh, then we can bolt the hinge to it we'll use this as our guide to mark our holes and we know that this is going here like so so I'm gonna have to mark that out cut that out get that in and it's got it's very crucial here because the hinge pocket's got to go in the exact same place as it was or you're gonna have a hell of a time trying to fit your doors so uh, having said that I'm gonna nibble away at this a little bit more the overall uh, the overall view here so uh, yeah took out a substantial piece I'm gonna cut down here all the way and cut this whole flange off get into that second piece and uh, just kind of nibble away at it until I get uh, an idea of where I can weld things to and what I'm going to weld to and all that sort of stuff so I mean there's nothing there to work with right now this whole corner is basically shit so it's, it's got to be cut out but anyway I'm going I'm to keep hacking away and uh I'll come back when I've got a better idea of what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I am going to make a new piece, though. Uh, and when I get that fabricated, I'll, uh, I'll come back and show you what we're, uh, what we're up to. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I hacked out quite a bit of this stuff. So now we're basically down to the inner kick panel and this thing down here. So I did bend one up, there it is there, and I marked my holes, I think you can see those marks. So I'm gonna drill those holes, um, you know, and cut this out of here, trim it up nice so the uh, that new one fits. And then I'm going to mark the line here, so there we go, the race and the dotted line. Cut this piece out. So I can get at the pan or the toe, toe kick panel and, uh, you know, cut it above the rust, where the rust stops, put the new panel in and, uh, <clears throat> you know, then I've got something to brace this with. So then I got to put the hinge together with, uh, with this piece and my new bracket. So bolt it all together we'll cut this out put this in place and tack everything together and that should that should do it now there's a couple things i know this edge is straight this edge here is dead straight i've had a straight edge on it a couple of times before i even started cutting so it, it's true it's straight um but what's also true is that uh when i put a square on this thing this is not square. So that's why I want to get that back panel on first, figure out exactly where my piece is going to go and what angle it's at and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I can just start fitting things together. So my next order of business is to uh, drill a hole for my bracket and cut this out. But it's getting late and I'm going to probably tackle that in the morning. This is a... Uh, this is a big job, but uh, I think the worst of it is over now. At least I know what I'm sort of what I'm doing. <laughs> but we'll we'll see how it all turns out. Okay, good morning. Uh, <clears throat> Saturday morning, early. Uh, I've already been at it for a while. Uh, I cut out up here, and I, I started cutting into this inner kick panel. Uh, but before I go any further, there's a couple of key measurements that should be taken. Uh, I scribbled them down right on the uh, post and on the rocker. <clears throat> the first measurement was uh, center of the top hinge bolt to center of the bottom hinge bolt. Um, so that I know my hinge placement and, and all that's going to be in the same spot. I wrote it down right here, 24 inches. Uh, also, inside the jam where it meets the rocker, measured end to end. That was 32 and three quarter. And then the outside of the door reveal, the opening, you know, that the door fits in between, measured from here to here, that was 35 and three eighths. So I've got enough measurements here that 
I can put this thing back together after I cut everything out. Because it, it's a little intimidating once everything's cut out. I mean, you, you look at it and go, Jesus, you cut the whole corner of the truck away. And, uh, well, yeah, you'd be right. <laughs> um, so I'm going to finish cutting out this uh, uh, inner kick panel and, uh, and the bottom hinge plate. And then we're going to get all that hinge area figured out and uh, get that in. So, yeah, I'll, I'll come back after I get that panel cut out. Okay, so now that this is opened up, it's an excellent opportunity to get rid of all this uh, emergency brake stuff because we're not using it. So, uh, yeah, easy access to all the bolts and everything. So I'll get that out of there and uh, finish trimming this out, clean everything up, and get ready to put my, uh, my new interior panel in. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. Okay, so this thing really kicked my ass, man. Um, <laughs> it was stubborn. There was a lot of trimming and dicking around to do. And uh, still, I mean, the fitment is okay, but it's not, uh, it's not super. Um, what I wanted to do is get, you know, inside this little channel here. This is what takes your, uh, your weather stripping. But you can see down below, came up a little bit short here. But I have to patch here anyway for... Uh, where that e-brake e uh, pedal was so I'll just patch the whole thing right up and we'll get it in fits good over here though you know and I don't know why both of them the original and the new one come up short here uh, you know I, I don't know why I'll just I can weld a piece in there or actually I guess the uh, yeah I guess the whole cab uh, or cowl section will will come right over that so okay that's good. We don't have to worry about it. So anyway, I can uh, weld it down here along here. And I can weld it here. And, you know, here and there, whatever. Get a few tacks inside as well. And then, uh, you know, move on to the hinge piece. But uh, I tell you, I mean, I've been at this 3 o'clock now. So I've been at this for like 7 hours <laughs> with all the cutting out and stuff. I mean, look at the trail of destruction here. You know, it's all the dirt and stuff. You know, all that stuff came out of here. So, yeah. It's been a job and a half. And I'm not even half done. But we can get that in place and move on now. So, there's also a rust repair I found down here. I've cut three sides of it out. I'll cut the rest of it. Put a new piece in there. And we should be golden. It's pretty heavy steel. So, uh, not bad. Anyway, I can uh, I can get after this thing now. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm ready to weld this in. I've cleaned up, uh, you know, some of the edges here, um, so that I could I got some clean metal to weld to. Yeah, you can weld to this black stuff. Um, so all good. Um, so I'm gonna get that welded in while I got the welder out. Uh, I also put this together. So that's the little dog leg at the bottom of the door jam. Uh, these are, you know, fine, fine thread uh, bolts. And uh, so I rummaged through my miscellaneous can of fine thread stuff, rusty or not. Uh, clean them up and bolted that on there. So now I'm going to weld these nuts to the bracket, weld them up solid then they'll become bosses rather than nuts they'll be in there permanently and i'll also weld the bracket to the the dog leg itself so you know then we'll be ready to uh cut out the bottom here uh fit that in there and you know line up make sure i check my measurements and all that stuff but uh, i don't want to cut this ahead of time before i weld this up because i you know i want to give this uh you know, a little bit of stability. Um, if I cut that out and I don't have this welded up, I mean, this whole post can do wonky things. And uh, wonky things suck. So, um, yeah, we'll take our time, weld that in, weld those things up, and then we can start hacking away at this and, uh, and get that in place. And, uh, you know, if I get that done today, I'll be doing good, man. Because, uh, like I said, that, that piece kicked my ass. And, you know, so much cutting. Uh, not to mention that 
hugely over-engineered uh, emergency brake setup. I mean, there had to be, you know, 15 bolts holding all that together. And that's not counting what I've already cut off the frame. Um, I don't know where they thought that thing was going, man, but Jesus, you know, it was in there like rock solid. So uh, a lot of bolts, a lot of cutting, a lot of hacking. And, uh, you know, I went through, I think I went through four discs on my, uh, on my little mini grinder. So, yeah, it was a lot of cutting. Anyway, we'll get to her, and uh, when I'm ready to cut that out, I'll come back. Okay, so once again, uh, <laughs> another issue. Um, this piece right here is actually the same as it's this piece here on my patch panel, right? So it goes on like so. So I've either got to remove this. Or what I'm thinking I'm going to do is cut it in half this way, remove the outside section, and then cut it in half here, butt them up, you know, weld it down the seam. Um, the reason being, I, you know, I don't want to cut this whole piece out because I'm welded my panel into it for one thing. But another thing, uh, I think it'll be stronger. You know, instead of if I cut the whole the whole lip off, it'll make this a lot weaker. So if I just cut it in half this way, just up to up to here, because this here I can grind this flush, and this this piece here already came. I've already gotten it off. So if I didn't remove it, my hinge would have been out too far. So I'm just going to keep cleaning this up, and uh, I don't think I'm going to get this thing in tonight. Um, just running out of time <laughs> so uh, i'll be back at it tomorrow i guess um you know due to part two the outer panel shouldn't take near as long all the hard stuff is done all the figuring and math and, and calculating is done so you know i just got to clean things up take my time make sure this piece gets in the right the right spot because super important or my doors aren't going to work right so i'll clean a clean up the bottom part down here and see what I can work out. I still got to figure out exactly where I'm going to cut this piece, but I want to get this lined up down here first, then I'll know for sure. So that's where I'm at. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to knock it off pretty soon. It's, uh, it's starting to get dark out. It's, uh, what is it? Eight o'clock. So it'll be dark in about 15, 20 minutes. And, uh, you know, it's Saturday night. I got a buddy coming over for a beer or two, so uh, yeah. Plus, I got to make a video so uh, to put out tomorrow. So I'm going to uh, clean up a little bit and uh, yeah, get after that. So, so there you go. Uh, a lot of progress, but uh, you know, I was hoping to get a little further along in this video, um, but it's just not going to happen. I mean, it's just uh, a little bit slower going than I'd I'd hoped for. But, uh, you know, I've got to make sure it's done right, and that's it. So, uh, it is what it is. It was a lot to, to bite off in, uh, in one video anyway, really. Um, you know, you're rebuilding the whole corner of the truck, really. So, yeah, it's, there's a lot there. So, um, yeah, we'll just keep plugging away at it tomorrow. I think I'll wrap it up tomorrow, uh, tomorrow or, or Monday the latest. And uh, um, it'll be in the next video, done. Um, so yeah, um, and man, I gotta tell you, that emergency brake set up from front to back, all the way to the back wheel, what a pain in the ass, like, I don't know who designed this thing, but, uh, man, oh man, uh, must be the same people that make tanks or something, but, uh, crazy, crazy amount of bolts and, and reinforcements and brackets and levers and rods and holy jeez. Just for an e-brake that nobody uses. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, yeah, it was a dirty day. A lot of grinding, a lot of welding. And uh, it is, it's, you know, especially cutting. I mean, you know, you're nibbling away at it. You, you can only get to, you got to cut a chunk off so you can get the grinder and further to cut the next piece off. And then you got to cut that and this. And uh, drive you crazy. Anyway, like I said, I went through altogether almost four, four full discs just cutting stuff away. Um, 
So it is what it is. Anyhow, um, new subscribers, thank you very much. Had uh, another good bunch last week, and uh, or since last video even. And uh, you know, keep it up. Spread the word. Tell your buddies. Tell your chums. Uh, like the page, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Uh, don't be afraid to leave comments down below. I uh, I enjoy them and I read them all and and respond to all of them. And uh, yeah, so wasn't bad for a rainy day. It was actually didn't rain at all, and uh, it was in uh, you know low seventies. So it was it was a good uh, good weather day. Had the garage door open all day. Mint. Those days are going to be running out soon. <laughs> Believe me. Uh, Northern Ontario, man. Mid-September, anything can happen. Anyway, uh, but if you're not doing anything else, man, get out in the garage and build something. Later, guys.